Salutations, my loves! Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my trip that I'm going to be taking to Peru where I am going to have a shamanic ceremony taking ayahuasca, which is DMT, in which I'm going to be able to communicate with other dimensional beings and receive many messages from God and from Mother Earth. And I wanted to explain to you guys exactly what it is, so stay tuned. Woo! What is ayahuasca? Ayahuasca is an Amazonian plant mixture sent by Mother Earth to give us humans, plants, and animals messages on how to open up our consciousness and how to love, appreciate, and enter different dimensions through the light, through God. Ayahuasca means vine of the soul or vine of life. The ayahuasca trip lasts between four to eight hours after ingestion. And this is ranging from mildly stimulating to extremely visionary. Ayahuasca is used primarily as a medicine and as a shamanic means of communication, typically in a ceremonial session under the guidance of an experienced drinker. The main ingredient of this jungle tea is a vine, which is called Vanisteropsis kapi, which, like the tea itself, is called ayahuasca. The secondary ingredient is either chakruna or chagropanga. And these plants contain a relatively high amount of the psychedelic substance DMT. DMT is a basic neurotransmitter that us humans naturally have in our bodies. And even plants have it and even other animals have this DMT. And it plays a huge role in consciousness and awareness for us living beings. This neurotransmitter is called dimethyltryptamine or DMT for short. And it is found in the brain, the blood, the lungs, and other parts of the human body. There is strong evidence pointing towards the pineal gland, also known as the third eye in esoteric tradition. The third eye is located at the center of the brain and between your eyes. And this is basically the point where a lot of our DMT is located. And this is what opens up our mind to consciousness and to this other dimension that we cannot see with our physical two eyes. Apart from human beings, DMT can be found in every mammal and a variety of plants. Plants are brought here to give us messages in which they substitute biosynthesis for behavior. Plants use messenger molecules to mediate relations with humans, animals, plants that give off energy that say, yes, use me, or no, do not use me. And ayahuasca, this spirit plant, is basically letting humans know, sending off that frequency, that yes, please use me. Because once you use me, you're going to open up to a whole different dimension and your consciousness. And you're going to be able to activate that neurotransmitter that is going to change the biochemistry of your body, of your brain, so that you can align your chakras and you can ascend and understand why you're really here in the physical dimension, which is not to pay taxes and get a good job and go to school, no. It is for you to be a caretaker of the planet, to create, to love, and to appreciate what God has given. It's interesting because ayahuasca, DMT, this dimethyltryptamine is naturally found in our bodies and even in plants and other animals, but yet this is a Schedule One drug. Why do you think that is? It's because the government knows that if you were to take this, this is going to shift your consciousness to the point where you're going to realize and see through the veil of deception that they've placed before us. And a lot of people that have taken this ayahuasca and have went to these different ayahuasca retreats, they've came with alcohol problems, drug issues, depression, and cancer, and other issues with themselves. And through this spirit plant, it has basically helped heal these people through a plant that God has placed here for us. And with the experiences that people have with the ayahuasca, they can really range depending on the person. A lot of people have a sense of motion a lot of times, moving through a portal, having information coming by or through them very quickly. There are a lot of fractals and geometric patterns, and there's also a lot of entities that can be described from aliens to angels or demons or scary animals different things that our mind creates or that these spirits want us to see but in the form of a physical being and there's also a huge cathartic release of emotion and things that have been buried for years so the person that is taking this ayahuasca they are going to purge they're going to throw up and it's going to release a lot of the negative energy and things that are built up inside of them and it is also going to give them a lot of visions you're going to literally enter a different dimension where you're going to be able to communicate with other beings 
and you're going to be able to receive messages that you're going to need to heal yourself and also to heal Mother Earth. A big reason why I'm going to Peru on Monday is because I have been wanting to try this plant for many years, but I wasn't ready because I knew that I was going to see a lot of visions. I knew that I needed to be you know, completely aligned with myself in order to receive this blessing that God is going to give me through this plant. And I know that I'm going to be able to communicate with other dimensional beings. And from this, I want to ask them for guidance. I want to ask them for healing help because I know that I'm here to help heal the world and I need your help. I need your knowledge. I need your information. I need your healing energy, your powers in order to do so in this physical dimension. And this is why I'm going to Peru. So I'm going to be gone for about seven days. I'm basically not going to be active on social media. So I just wanted to let everybody know where I'm going, why I'm going to be taking ayahuasca, and why I feel everybody else should also take ayahuasca. So that they can communicate with these beings of light, and so that they can communicate these messages from Mother Earth. Thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you all in a week. Woo! Off to Peru!